Okay, so picking up where we left off, we have this meteor.publish resolutions here, and we now need to modify this return resolutions find. So we're not giving all of the content from resolutions. We want to restrict what they have access to. Specifically, we don't want to give any resolutions where the uh, current owner is not owning the content and private is set to true. So uh, if it's private, we don't want anybody else to see it. But more importantly, we don't want anybody else to have access to it on the server side. So in this return resolutions.find, we can now pass it some options, right? So let's have a bracket here. So now inside of this find, we're gonna be using an advanced Mongo query. And to do that, we wanna have a dollar sign or and then colon, and then bracket. Okay, this is uh, not the curly bracket, this is the flat bracket. Okay, so inside of here, what we need to do is pass in a couple of conditions. So this is only going to return uh, in two types of cases. When the resolution is not equal to private. So to say that is we wanna say private, colon, and then we want to have another curly bracket using the dollar sign NE, so not equal to colon true. Okay, so when private is anything other than true, and then let's have a comma here, and or we want to include it if it is the owner. So if, if you own the resolution, always show it. Or if it's public, then you can show it as well. So we can say owner colon. Now this dot user ID. So we now have this Mongo query that's looking for content that's private set to uh, not equal to true or owner that's set to this dot user ID. So let's come to our document here and you can refresh. You see we have public and private are showing up here. But what happens if we check this out as a user who's not logged in? I'm gonna just put this in a incognito window and you can see the only one that we have access to is the one that's set to public. Uh, and what's cool about this is if we come here and we click on this public button and make read more private as well, let's tab back, you'll see it's already gone. So we've made that private and it hit it immediately from anybody else who currently might be browsing the site. Uh, we can toggle back uh, either of these public private and you can see they're now back for our non-logged in users. Okay, so we're almost there. We have this public private thing going. It's pretty cool. You now have a little bit more information about how to use publish and subscribe. So instead of just publishing every single resolution, we can now have conditions on which resolutions the application has access to at any given instance. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's come back to our methods. We have these delete uh, resolutions, we have update resolutions, we have add resolutions. Uh, add resolutions should be able to be done essentially by anybody. However, delete and update, these really should only be done by people who have the access to uh, modify their own content, right? So you don't want some just random logged in user being able to delete or modify your resolution. So just the same way we did this before, we first found one with the ID. So let's come in here. Let's do delete resolutions first. We're gonna do resolutions.findone.id exactly as it was. And we're going to say if the owner, uh, if you're not the owner, you can't delete it. So just like we had before, um, the resolutions find one, if the current resolution owner is not equal to the current logged in user, don't allow them to do it, okay? And once again, we're gonna have the same exact thing set to update. Uh, so I'm really just gonna copy these lines right here and paste it in just above our resolutions.update right here. And if all goes well, I'm gonna have my console log open on uh, this one and an incognito window. Let me do that. Okay, let's inspect element. We'll get our console. The giant font size on this is kind of ruining the in inspect element, but that's okay. We just wanna see this error. Okay, so now let's see what happens when we click remove. We get error, delete resolution, not authorized. Let's click update. Uh, we get 
error invoking update resolution not authorized. So even though this checkbox exists as something, you may even want to just straight up hide these buttons. In fact, that's something I would definitely do. Uh, but not only that, uh, if they were somehow able to uh, get into your console and start typing away, the server would reject their request and not just the fact that you're hiding the functionality for them to do it. So now that the server is blocking it, let's go ahead and just add this is owner and let's wrap the is owner just around this checkbox. And let's go ahead and add another is owner around this delete button. Cool, okay. So now, uh, now they can just see the resolutions, right? And the uh, logged in user has all this sort of access. Cool, so we've now done a lot with security. We're hiding methods. We're preventing the server from doing certain things. We have a pretty good application. I mean, it could use some, some CSS. It could use a little bit of shuffling around and stuff like that, but it works really well and it's a good start. So in the next video, we're gonna talk more about project and layout structure, and then we're gonna get into deploying a really simple Meteor to Meteor's own hosting server. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.